Well, we have a saying on this show that conspiracy theories are just six month spoiler alerts for what's to come. And there's no shame in raising these questions. So here's one for you with over 30 million upwards of 43 million illegal immigrants that have poured across the border uh, during Biden's presidency. And the federal government is building massive facilities, massive facilities that can sleep tens of thousands of individuals all across the country. You probably haven't heard about these large facilities, have you? Well, why are they being built? Who are they for? We might finally have an answer. Listen. It's not for these illegals, especially let's go off the numbers that they're telling us that there really are. They're, they're saying, what, 11 million? In reality, I can tell you right now, with talking to all of the agents that I've talked to, private sector, looking at the cameras and all the real data, uh, we're over 30 plus million who've actually entered this country. Yep. And so, even with that, even though that's enough to replace about 36 states population, why would they need to continue to do that if they're trying to absorb these guys, make them productive members of our society, get them into housing because we know that they're already housing uh, projects being uh, coordinated with builders, again with our money. I believe um, it's to kind of like uh, what Nazis did with the Jews, concentration camps processing facilities. They're going to need somewhere to process the dissidents. Mm -hmm. So it's not for illegal immigrants? Who is it for? Dissidents? We're going to unpack this with former 24-year veteran of the Customs and Border Protection, J.J. Carroll, who